first heard about it in the middle of the cabinet meeting when he got a call about it. And apparently that's the first time he heard about it. But what I can say is that we now know that the problem of illegal recording of Ill illegal recordings uh, wasn't just confined to Garda stations, but has spread to our prison system. And uh, I understand that as many as 84 cases have come to light so far. Now, of course, there may be an entirely innocent explanation for this, uh, but it's going to have to be investigated. Uh, and of course, the big fear for the government and for um, citizens is whether or not it's going to result in a, in a major financial liability to the state. So all this um, has to be investigated. Um, really, we need to get more information before we can make a judgment on just how significant this news is. But it is another element, Ursula, to this story. So how long is it going to take the government to tie up all the loose ends in this story? Well, the government has uh, did try today to make a start on doing that. Uh, it's anxious to move ahead and get away from all the talk of recent weeks about conspiracy theories, about who knew what, where and when, and who didn't get a letter on a certain day, and why wasn't the minister informed uh, about a, a key letter from the, the Garda Commissioner. This government wants to move away from all of that and, 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 and a focus on what it can do to solve the problem and move into the future. Um, and and uh, it's uh, to that effect, it has announced a whole list of actions that it intends doing to get to the root of the illegal recordings in guard stations, and now it's going to have to do the same with the prison system, but also to reform the guardee. So it has started off by announcing that it is appointing a High Court judge, Mr. Justice Niall Fennelly, to chair a commission of inquiry into the uh, illegal recordings, and it is also working on terms of reference for that commission. It also announced that it is setting up a special cabinet subcommittee on justice. It'll be a four-minister committee comprising of the Taoiseach, the Taunishta, the Justice Minister Alan Chatter, and one other Labour minister uh, who hasn't been named yet. Now, some people in Leinster House are seeing this uh, as, as a sort of a slap in the face, um, a sort of demotion for Alan Chatter. It looks like the Taoiseach is moving in to, to mind the minister for justice who has been certainly accident prone and a magnet for trouble for this government in recent weeks. Uh, of course the government is also fighting a motion of no competence in Alan Chatter today and tomorrow but I think it's safe uh, to imagine that the complication that the news that um, uh, arose today about the prison system, about uh, the illegal recordings in prison system, I would imagine that that is causing more concern in the in the cabinet right now uh, rather than uh, this um, uh, vote of no confidence because of course the government has a massive majority and it knows it's going to to win this vote but further down the line there are some landmines ticking time bombs that could go off on, on this whole issue there are a number of reports that have yet uh, to be to be completed they're due in sometime around easter um, and uh, they could tell another story they could cause more trouble uh, for the cabinet on this issue. Ursula Halligan, thanks for that.